Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer 2 here today on the channel. We're back on our Mortal Empires Carl France campaign. This is episode 4. In today's episode, we're going to start it off with confederating with Balthazar Gelt and the Golden Order. We turn 39 into our Let's Play. We're also going to be declaring war against the Vampire Counts, continuing it rather, pushing eastward. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like. Like, subscribe if you're new with notifications on. Let me know in the comments, feedback, and suggestions for the series thus far. And feel free to leave a dislike if you don't enjoy it. So we've managed to take Fort Sol. Uh, we've also managed to take a Karak. So four territories down in the south. Winter Teeth Pass as well. Balthazar Gelt has 15 units in his army. Let's have a quick look at his stats. He's currently only uh, level 11. And that's not too bad. Probably a little bit too much in Leader of Renowned. But it could be worse. So only at level 8. We can still work and, and, and do with that. So what else have we been able to get? So we haven't got the entire region of Solent, unfortunately. And those buildings don't look too bad either. So what we'll do is we'll rally up with our forces. We'll try and rebuild and defend these territories that we have down in the south. And we're going to try and push eastward against the vampires. Carl Franz is going to have to make his way down from Altdorf. So we've got seven units here as well, a level six. And then we've got my agent further in the north as well. I might get rid of some of these agents and armies that I don't particularly need. So uh, I'll, I'll skip a little bit ahead. Okay, guys, welcome back. I've made the decision to skip a couple of turns ahead to reorganize Balthazar Gelt's territory and re-professionalize our armies as well, bringing in future and better quality equipment. Okay, so we're currently turn 43 into our Let's Play with the Confederation with Balthazar Gelt. We have gained four southern provinces here, a settlement on the coast with the Border Princes, in the Border Princes rather, and uh, we've also taken a Karak in the Black Mountains. Now, uh, Balthazar Guild has a tendency to push further south, so we do border with a lot of greenskin forces, which could be a problem in the near future, because the dwarves are very much on the back foot. We've got Fort Sol here, and we've also got Solland. I've got Carl Franz here now, pushing towards the Vampire Counts. Here today, in today's episode, we're going to be continuing our war against them. Hopefully, we can take some territories here. The Vampire Counts have Castle Temple of Eschen, Drakenhof, and Waldenhof. And the Empire does have some allied territory nearby. So, Carl Franz here, his army slightly changed. Uh, we've got a melee specialist here, Warrior Priest, and a Celestial Wizard. One unit of Great Swords, Sigmar Sons, two units of Halberds, four units of Swordsmen, Huntsmen, two Handgunners, Deathjack Archers, Crossbows, and two lots of Mortars as well, with Army 1. Army 2 here we have with Balthazar Gelt as well. I've managed to bring in some Mortars and Handgunners into his army, along with some uh, Spearmen. Regiment of Renowned, Marcus here, Witch Hunters pushing further south, so we'll bring this territory back down to uh, Solund. Got another army being recruited here at Ubersreich. Back into the Empire in Reichland, we have four territories. We've got Fort Helmgard here in the Axebite Pass. We've also got Blackstone Posts where we managed to defeat um, Heimlich, uh, what's his name? Heimrich. Kimler, that was it, and take that from him a couple of episodes ago. So not really too much else I can do. I think we'll end the turn and continue against the Vampires. So we're turn 43 in our Let's Play. We've only had one confederation, which is a bit of a shame. We, uh, I was looking in the comments and through like other uh, series and stuff that usually every 20 turns you get an RNG event of potentially confederating with someone. Unfortunately, we've only just gotten ours for Balthazar. So it's going to be quite some time before we unite the Empire. We could have hit Marienburg pretty early on, but unfortunately for me, the Bretonians made the decision to push and wipe and take them out. Alliance-wise, we are currently allied up with most of the Bretonian kingdoms. Carcassonne with the, uh, the lady. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, Bretonia and... Uh, not Bordeaux. Border looks or whatever they're called. What? Okay, Helmand Gorst. And who's this? Roderick Bayer. Come out and attacked me here. 
Okay, so we're at the border here in the vampires. They've preemptively striked me. I wanted to get in range to actually hit and siege out Temple Hoof. Let's chuck a quick save. We can use this to our advantage. I don't know if that quick save is, that auto save is overly too much in our favor. So Helm and Gorst we're meeting for the first time. I don't know where Manfred is. Okay, so he's got two wizards here, three crypt ghouls, two skeletons, zombies, black knights we need to watch out for. It's uh, Roderick here is the main problem. Graveguard, a lot of graveguard there as well. They've also got some Crypt Horrors and Corpse Cart. Alrighty, well, we'll fight this one on the field of battle. Okay, so it looks like they've managed to build back from what I destroyed when Manfred came across. They have managed to take a lot more territories when I declare war upon Manfred. But Gorst here is very low ranking. Let's just hope he doesn't have his chariot. So we've got the Battle of the Moot. Let's uh, throw back the Vampiric Scourge. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle map. We've managed to get 19 wins of magic. I'm happy with that. I only really gamble if it's out of 15. And this is a must win, to be perfectly honest. So looking at the terrain, I think, because they have numerical supremacy, we might be better off to fight with our backs to the wall in this one and corner camp. They've caught me off guard. Um, they have a lot of cavalry, so I reckon they'd probably envelop most of my army if we sort of fight out in the field. So what we're going to do, we're going to go with this bitch-ass strategy of corner camping, pushing further back here. Some of my units seem to have a vanguard deploy, and we'll try and fall you there. So let's start the deployment, make sure everyone's here. We'll start and quickly pause and make sure it goes out. So where are we best to sort of hold? Because there is a bit of a downhill trend which is cool. I don't know if we're going to be able to use that to our advantage. We do have to extend a lot further back. So what I'm probably more so keen to do and probably propose is go with something a little more like that. We'll swing hand gunners further back here and we'll allow my crossbows there to hold. Uh, mortars can sit there as well. Handgun is what I'll do, is I'll try and sit them at the front, and then I'll probably try and move them back. Allow Carl Franz just to sit here, and we'll leave you here. We've also got a wizard here as well, so we'll try and swing you there. So let's allow everyone to quickly reform and move out some of these units we haven't even seen before. But here is Carl Franz and our wizard moving into position, along with our warrior priest. Okay, let's have a look at the enemy opposition now, slowly but surely trickling in. So here are the Vampiric Knights, Bats, some Skelly Boys, and here is Helm and Gorst here as well, pushing in with two other Wizards. Ghouls further at the back. There was a one army here. Those Chariots are now coming in. And those Crypt Horrors are something we have to watch out for. And who is this? Yeah, this must be... Uh, Roderick here. Oh, he's got a Var uh, Ghoul or whatever. Var Gorst on its right shoulder. That's kind of cool. Var Gulf. Alright. So, how is our position here for now? Okay. That's not too bad. But it could be a lot better. So, because it does. The, a, the, uh, the battle UI doesn't necessarily like you doing this. So. We'll try and reform up where we can. And we'll try and stick our hand gunners a bit closer, right? So what I want you to do is get like a quick lightning volley off, potentially, and then try and get you guys, you here to be hugged a lot closer to the main line. Leave our wizard here as well. And my mortars can sit there. Maybe even slightly higher up for now. And if we can kind of move... Uh, if you can try to move back a bit, I'd like that. And then what I'll do is I'll fall these handgunners back or make a secondary line. Let's speed things up. So now it's 50-50. Yeah, that's what I sort of thought. We are doubt numbered 2-1. to one, But it definitely wasn't as favoured as what they 
had there on the auto result because these crypt horrors are actually going to rip through us, I reckon. Yeah, we do have Cal France and his abilities. We've also got a Celestial Wizard. We've got a couple of good magic spells here. Thunderbolt, Wind Blast as well. We definitely can use to our ability. But these corpse carts here are making their way in as well. Okay. Yeah, how have we lost two men and they've lost 200? Don't understand. Hmm, that's weird. Alright, quite happy with this position we have here for now. We might be able to get some quick volleys off before the main host arrives. Graveguard, watch out for them. So what are our range on our mortars? They must be nearly in range by the look of it, yeah. Okay, what I want to do with these guys is make sure all my swordsmen are like this on guard mode. And I want to turn off skirmish mode as well for a lot of these guys. I want them to stand and hold their position. Okay, so we've got a guy moving further back here. We are shortly about to be in artillery range. So you do have the order to fire at will, mortars. Make sure you aim, rear up. And we're going to get our first shot off here now. So I imagine we're going to go straight for whatever this is hanging here. Oh, it's actually going closer to the tower. And those cavalry units. Nice. That's not too bad. Let the forest burn. Alright, try and hit something like that. And ideally you can hit those... Cryptorus, that's what I would love, but I don't know how sort of applicable that would be. So make sure we rain fire and death upon them. That's a good strike there, actually. Even though we're giving out the orders now to hit these guys further at the back. Yeah, so try hit that. Try hit that. Hitting those cavalry coming straight on is probably not a bad idea. Okay, so their generals are moving further back. We need to make sure we target with Carl Franz and whatnot. So, I need to keep an eye on my handgunners as well. So, we are going to get some initial shots off here against them. How close are they going to go? Because we're probably going to have to get them to fall back at some point. An archer volley's coming in against them as well. And there's bats now coming in, and we're getting some shots off. So, we're going to quickly fall back here now. We probably allowed them to get a little bit too close even there. So we'll try to break up those archers that are coming in and against us straight up. And we'll make sure we target absolutely everything at these Crypt Ghouls now moving in. Handgunners, what I can do is move you probably to that position. And probably here as well. You might be able to get a shot if you shoot up and over. If we're lucky, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so we want to try and target those Crypt Ghouls, like I said. So we'll try and do that. Once they get closer and maybe even in a bit more, what we could do is maybe drop some of our abilities. Do I want to do my Wind Blast just yet? Kind of want to do it when they're a little bit more clumped up, I reckon. So we'll let Carl France here go against these Crypt Ghouls for now. And we'll continue to let my Mortars to whittle down them. We're getting our shots off quite well here. And I don't want my handgunners to cause friendly fire, so we'll turn it off here for now. Okay, it looks like they've... What are they doing? It's like they don't want to charge now. This is so weird. We're holding the line quite well here. We're still getting... Still continuing to fire upon those horrors. That's the main thing. If we can try and target out the horrors, that is our best bet. So we'll probably try and do that as well. Try and get a lightning strike against that. Even if it doesn't go through, we're going to be able to hit some in the back, I think. Yeah, that's alright. We'll, we'll take that. Try and get my archers to try and hit these crypt horrors then. Try and get a decent volley off if you can. Alright, so re-angle this now, just go halt and then fire at will and pick a new target. Alright, you try and hold that there then, 
And we are targeting these Crypt Horrors out, which is good. And we've defeated them. Fan-bloody-tastic. To be fair, I don't know what the AI is doing. They're weirdly throwing in some units while they're not. Others. We don't even need to use a wind blast yet. To be fair, these guys are going to come straight in a line here. So if we can time this. Go now, use wind blast. Yeah, that's nearly perfect. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this battle, man? It's like they don't want to charge me. Why did they even charge me anyway? Why, why, why did the AI calculate that they... Maybe they just saw us pushing there. And like, yeah, no, we don't want to fight this. But because we're at war, they've pushed it. So we're still holding here, doing incredibly well. And the AI keeps just going back and forth. And without a full commitment, we're just going to sit back and rain fire, fire and death upon them. Look, I'm happy to take the W. But this is incredibly odd. We've never had a battle like this in the campaign. Yeah, they're even pushing further back here. It's like they're trying to escape, but they can't. They're calculating that they can't win. Like. You will win if the timer runs out. Yeah, they're actually fleeing. But now they're coming back. This is so weird. It's one of those battles, isn't it? Where the AI just, like, bugs. Alright, try and target them, then. Yeah, don't make, make sure you're not targeting too much on zombies. Because you're just wasting ammunition at that point. Yeah, so they've got a wizard here, though. we still got, like, 30 wins of magic free. Once they sort of get into range, we probably can target out these generals. So anything sort of trying to hit us here, we're actually smashing. Convincingly. Maybe they're just trying to maybe they're just trying to bait me. <laughs> maybe they're just trying to kite my ammunition. Maybe this is some like next level MLG strat. Cuz they've calculated our supremacy, I don't know. So a charge is coming in and as quick as it came in it's gone out. This is so wacky. Well, like I said, we're going to sit here and continue to bombard them. So how many have we managed to wreck? We've killed, we've killed half. We won't charge out. Until our ammunition has been depleted. We'll send Carl Franz in here. We even got him leading from the front and they're not doing anything. Maybe try and blob down some more units there. Continue to try and focus on Graveguard if you can. And Crypt Ghouls and such. I haven't even needed to use some of his abilities here. Okay, might use it now because they're committing more guys in. Yeah, they're starting to go for it a bit here now. So let's try and swing you further here. And we'll try and use some more of this stuff as well. So try and pu push down into something like that. And we'll try and use Wind Blast like that way as well. Alright. Good. Try and go deal with him if you can, Carl. If we can knock out the enemy general, that would be ideal. And we've got another augment here as well, so... Let's try and use it against this unit that's been charged. My artillery's out of ammunition and now my archers as well. I can't see an opportunity to get my handgunners in just yet. But yeah, they have actually officially whittled down all my ammunition and they've come in. So maybe that was a bit of the strat. I don't know. Alright. So, we want to try and push and try and take down some general units if we can. So you can come in here, even though you're not a proper fighter. Maybe coming over there to help is probably not a bad idea. You're at half strength here. You need to come down and start dealing with units. Along with Carl. 
We need to get some of these generals dead. So send Carl Franz down here. Send you there and send the wizard in here as well. Oh, he's run back, the bastard. Right, send Carl Franz here. Yeah, I still can't see an opportunity just yet. Okay, um, what I can do is allow all my archers to draw their swords. So, covering and giving further physical support on our units is not a bad idea. Alright, let's try and get some of these generals. So, we want to try and go for wherever the warrior one is. And he's over here. He keeps on moving about a bit. Alright, try and go for you then. And try and go for the weaker one there. Alright, let's try and drop some more spells here. Probably further at the back. And we'll go for like a wind blast. Uh, that away. Maybe just further down there if it's going to work. Alright, we're still holding here. Carl Franz is still in the thick of it. Do need to keep an eye on the health of some of our guys. Maybe get Carl Franz to come further back here then. I really need you to focus on that, Carl, if you can. Alright, we managed to get that one wizard there. Maybe try and push down and help. Okay, we sort of get to the point where we probably should charge. Yeah, we outnumber them. Let's give a charge. So, let's allow everyone to break this and charge that. Because we're actually getting to the point where we need to be flanking. So we can break this front line here now. And that's completely gone. We can swing handgunners here as well and try and get them further around the back. And now this charge is coming in. Yep, we've killed two enemy lords. We've wounded them, rather. Victory! We have victory here today. A close victory, supposedly. That was a weird one. So we deployed 1,678. We lost 328. Helmand Gorst deployed his army and lost it, along with Roderick as well. Carl Franz got 163 kills. My warrior priest got 80. My wizard, 19, but he got more in his magic dealing. Mortars, 20, 260, 140. Archers did well. 198, 114. Obviously, the handgunners didn't do too well because they weren't really useful in this specific fight. The amount of quarter camping I do and the way I sort of play, not so much in the open field. We might be better off to rotate and cycle them, but those armor-piercing stuff is quite useful. Huntsman, 108. 102. Swordsman did well holding the line, even though they're like tier 1 swordsmen. They're not great swords. One of my great swords got 101. Uh, what did most of the stuff for them? It's basically that other army. The ghouls, the chariots, and that warrior vampire did most of the damage. Okay, guys, welcome to the campaign map. Victory! We have victory here today. 2,000, and we managed to kill all but four units there. Carl Franz goes up in rank as well. We shall execute the captives. Those two armies are going to flee and push further back now. And the vampires still have some further turns. So the Seed of Rebirth, the Battle of the Moot. Trait gained. Gorst or Ghost? Oh yeah, because Gorst is a legendary lord, isn't he? He's given us a trait. I don't know what it is, though. We've unlocked a... Archer Regiment of Renown that we've also unlocked a hand gunner. The Silver Bullets and the White Wolves. The White Wolf, Jon Snow. Alright, I'll take that. Okay guys, welcome to the top of the turn 44. Great Migration. Uh, we shall welcome. I'm quite happy to sacrifice the public order for growth. This is a good way to get your growth spam up. Okay, so a couple of things. Those regiments of renown have come in. And what is what is Gorst? So we've got Lich Killer, of course. So Gorst or Gorst. Ena so enables poison attacks. Apparently death is merely an obstacle to be overcome. However, 
Defeat him enables poison attacks. That's cool. That's something a bit unique and a bit different. And I haven't actually checked through Belthegar's Gelt sort of stack uh, stats, so I probably could grab some. Because Carl Franz doesn't have a basic armor, so we'll grab that. We'll reassign that, and you've gone up in stats now. And we can get Deathclaw. Uh, it does drop some stuff, but having Deathclaw is what we want. So we can finally get him. We ranked 16, so where else do we want to go down the tree here as well? I think an Emperor's Journey, Unbreakable, is probably our best bet. With Carl, seeing we're leading in the front with him so much. So, we've managed to get Deathclaw pretty early on. For, uh, 44 turns probably isn't pretty early on, but we've focused it a lot, haven't we? Okay, so, we'll probably give chase against Helm and Gorse, because I think that other army's gone. So, we'll, we'll push in here. We'll try and get rid of him. Auto-resolve, easy peasy, and another fight against him. We didn't lose anyone, which is fantastic. And we've also managed to get Dragon Helm. So, do we have enough movements to encamp? 50 it costs. And about halfway there. So. Uh, if I can sit here. And then encamp. That'll be good. Then we can get our bonus up. Because they could attack us again. Oh, Manfred's actually in Temple Hoof. Okay. And we'll go with... Wind Blast, I think. We'll get that upgraded fully and properly. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. Alright, let's move back to Gelt. So, Gelt is not too far away now. Okay, so the Vampires are a lot more stronger than what I sort of anticipated. So, we had him coming down to Soland to sort of defend and protect it. We've got our barracks and gates moving up here. So, I might actually need to send him up here, to be honest. Three turns, three turns to get back if need be. I briefly talked about the diplomacy before. Like I said, we've got military alliances with most of, Br of the Bretonian kings. Carcassonne, Bretonia, of course. Uh, I would like to get an alliance with the dwarves. Is that something that's possible? No. I wouldn't mind getting an alliance with the Dowie. And you can move out of your position here for now. Public order's coming back on track here. And further recruitment is coming back in the Reichland. And we've got 1.3k in our prestige. And we've got one imperial authority. Cool. Alrighty, let's continue on. Rightio then, guys. Welcome back. I've skipped a little bit ahead. Turn 47. We're going to continue on our excellent initiative of destroying those two armies. And we're going to be going to strike Castle Templehof. We'll quickly change the stance with Karl Franz there. Balthazar Geltz also rocked up as well. Man Manfred von Karstein's currently in Castle Templehof. And let's have a look at the odds. Okay, 60-40 in their favour. Cavalry couple of red knights and such. We'll try and sweeten the odds by bringing in Gelt in with some further additional reinforcements. So if we can get a, a footing, a staging ground in Castle Timpelhoof, there's also Empire reinforcements just near us. We should be able to push against the rest. Look, you know what? I'm going to do a quick save here, just in case the game crashes. And we're going to auto-resolve this one out. Victory! We have victory here today. It was a close one. We lost 1,000, and we get 3,000 treasury. We lost most of our normal swordsmen, which is okay. I eventually have to bring in uh, great swords as well. But we've already played, fought, and defeated Manfred in this campaign once. And um, we get the fireball spell. Oh, that's actually quite good. So we'll just auto resolve the one at Temple Hoof and uh, we'll quickly build back up. So we'll repair the keep where we can. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn, guys. It's turn 49, and Telebeckland has offered a confederation with me. Now, it's going to be a minus three. We've currently only got a plus one at the moment. I'm going to accept it and do go down a minus two. Minus two isn't too bad. But we'll be able to work with it. I can't realistically say no to the territory. So it's minus 5 tax rate, 5 growth, and minus 1 there. Look, once we disband some of their armies and fix up their agents, we'll be all right, I think. Okay, so let's go through what we managed to receive from Talabekland. So there's an a agent nearby here, a warrior priest. 
We probably don't need you, but um, we'll have a think about it. We'll move you here. We've also got Wolfgang actually in Templehof. Uh, we'll quickly disband you because these agents, especially if you don't need them, they do cost quite a bit, 300. So this is my army in Blackstone Keep. Then who else have we got here? So Nicholas Piper or oh, Nicholas Pippenheimer <laughs> uh, can move up with Gilt. And what's this? Helmut. Yeah, okay. So this full 20 stack here with Helmut in Kemperbad is not my army. Five-star commander, two lots of halberds. I don't need this, so we're going to disband it. And we're already made a 900 plus per turn, which is quite good. And we haven't even realistically got written all the generals just yet. I'm assuming they've probably got another army in here somewhere. Yeah, they do. Curtis. And this is where a lot of their armies lie. More captains. Hellstorm, Rocket Batteries 2, and some Demigriffs as well. Look, you know what? I'm probably going to keep the Great Swords and the Halberds, but I'll get rid of the Demigriffs because I'm just not going to use them. I'd rather have nearly Outriders if I have to have some sort of cavalry unit. And we'll switch you to a Force March. And you know what? Seeing as we're going, you're actually quite close to the Vampire counts. We'll try and push them there. So we managed to get the entire region of Telebeckland. Telebeckland itself. Look, there's a lot of stuff we can work with here. Growth's quite good in payment. Kemperbad. Uh, Kurgenheim. And Kempelbad further in the north there as well. So we'll try and make up some defending armies in the future as well to protect our zone. So we've got Telebeckland and the Golden Order confederating. We'll try to get that back on track as well. Alrighty guys, welcome to turn 49. We're going to go for Castle Drakenhof now. Uh, Gorst is back along with Roderick, who we fought in today's episode. So, we'll get everyone else to push. We've managed to replace and replenish those cheapo swordsmen that we lost, which is no matter. We can form them all in and to get some more men who are expendable. And Nicholas Pippenheimer as well is ready. So let's bring in Carl Franz to start sieging Castle Drakenhof. And have a look at the odds. Okay, slightly better there. We're hitting Roderick on the outside. Quickly do a quick save. A lot of it's mostly the garrison that looks more terrifying than anything. Gorst's army doesn't look too bad. So it's auto resolve this one out as well. And victory! That was a close one apparently. 1,522 loss, we deployed 3,375, and the vampire counts, oh yeah, so a lot of those crappy spearmen died in the auto resolve. Good, they're being put to work, and now we're going to be able to push on Castle Drakenhof itself, and uh, finish it off. And what's inside, yes, we managed to defeat them, good, we've had a lot of vampiric fights in today's video, especially like earlier on in the series, we were fighting like three, four battles against vampires and, and whatnot, so it's loot and occupied that. And now we've taken Castle Drakenhof. Good, we're one step to, uh, closer to reconquering the east, using empires win three battles against, yep, right, so sweet. We've managed to get that nice cash flow in as well. So, we still need to take Eschen and Waldenhof. We'll try to repair some of this. Oh, so I actually could have used some of this. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe I was better off just to straight up occupy them. Because a lot of these buildings have been converted to the human building chain rather than the Vampiric. I thought I would have had to convert a lot of, the, a lot of them. So, what I'll do is I'll quickly move Balthazar Gelt just closer up. Because you never know, we might have a rebellion or so. And we'll try and get those spearmen back I lost. Look, I can recruit them in one turn. So, it's quite good. They're pretty expendable. Actually, let's build it with Carl Franz's army, and we can get a unit of great swords here. Yeah, cool. To sweeten the odds. Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. It's turn 41. Osterlund has offered me a confederation. Now, going to minus five, I think, is a little bit too much. So, what we're going to do is we're going to assert dominance, get plus one. Uh, Imperial Authority, so we're at minus one now, so it should help our debuff quite a bit, and we'll try and get them later on. So it's come quick and fast. Maybe it's with my relations increasing due to destroying the vampires, but we're going to be trying to finish them off here today, pushing into Eschen, and oh wow, dude, that elder resolves 95, maybe even 99, and we only lost 65 men. Perfect. 
Let's loot and occupy. Well, we're not going to actually probably have to bring in Balthazar Gelt to Eschen. I would be surprised if the garrison in Waldenhof is larger. But we've taken four territories by right of conquest in quite quick succession. Yep. And Roderick, that'll be it. The vampire counts will be defeated here today. Let's loot and occupy. Yep. So we've taken the city. Province secured. Yep. The vampire counts have been defeated. The vampires in the old world are no more. Well, there's the Red Duke in, of course, Bretonia. So I guess, like, everything east of the Bretonian mountains, every vampiric count is gone. So Castle Templehof, Drakenhof, Eschen has all been taken. We've also managed to get Talabeklan. So we've had a really good confederation episode here today, taking Belth bringing Belthazar Gelt and Talabeklan into the fold and finishing off the vampires. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been CMC. Goodbye.